Galloway v. United States, 1943. In 1917, Joseph Galloway from Philadelphia enlisted in the Army and became a cook in a machine gun battalion in France during World War I. While serving on the Marne in France, Galloway was observed acting very odd. When the war was over, Galloway enlisted in the Navy, but was discharged less than a year later for bad behavior. In 1921, he enlisted in the Army again and served until 1922, when he deserted. In 1930, a series of medical examinations were conducted by the Veterans Bureau, which determined that Galloway was insane. By 1932, his wife was appointed guardian of his person and estate. She made a claim for insurance benefits in 1934, but was denied by the Board of Veterans Appeals in 1936. In 1938, Galloway sued the federal government to recover insurance benefits under contract of war risk insurance. Galloway argued that he was permanently disabled due to insanity while his policy was in force. The insanity was a result of his service in the military. The federal government moved to a directed verdict. The federal courts ruled that there was not enough evidence to award his claim. Galloway appealed on the grounds that the directed verdict deprived him of the right to a jury trial, guaranteed by the Seventh Amendment to the Constitution. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the directed judgment of the federal court was not a violation of the Seventh Amendment. The court ruled that if a judge concluded that there's not sufficient evidence to support a jury trial, they may render a directed verdict without a jury.